I'm Ashley Briggs and today we have Lorna Miser with us. She's a knitting designer and book author and today she's going to talk a little bit about cables. We have some basic cables she's going to go over as well as some reverse cables that are on this hat and scarf that we'll get to in just a little bit. So we want to start with the basic cables though, right? Right. All right. I don't think people, knitters, realize how simple it is to do a cable. Okay. I remember the first time I wanted to do a cable and I read the instructions and it just said, you know, put these stitches on a needle, hold that in the back, knit the next stitches, knit the needle. And when I was done, it was magic. Mm -hmm. I had this fantastic cable. Okay. So I'm going to show this, for instance, is a very basic cable. Okay. It's just crossing three stitches over three stitches, and they're even always done the same direction. Okay. I will show, however, that on the back side, it doesn't look very pretty. Right, and it definitely doesn't look like a cable. No, okay. no, it just looks kind of messy, textured. Okay. So I'm going to first show that that regular kind of cable. Okay. I've I've worked a few rows here already. Okay. So you kind of get the idea of what it's going to look like real, real quick. And just to show what I'm doing, mm -hmm. I've got a few stitches of ribbing mm -hmm. before and after. Because if you're doing a scarf or something, you would want a, something that doesn't curl. Right. And a few stitches after the cable of ribbing. Okay. And then in the center, I've got an eight stitch cable for crossing over four. Okay. 